Passage number one. Metamorphic rocks form when temperature and or pressure cause changes in pre-existing rock. Figure one, that's, that's here, shows the temperature and pressure conditions in which certain fascias, categories, are formed. Okay, so there's temperature, temperature on the horizontal, and then pressure's over here. But this is not pressure, this is depth. And it's going down, so it's like thinking like underground. Okay. Um, note, boundaries are not actually sharp, distinct lines. So there's going to be some crossover here a little bit, probably. A rock's metamorphic grade, a measure of the intensity of metamorphism, is classified on a scale of low, very similar to the original rock, to high, very different from the original rock. Table 1 lists the grades of fascias A through C. A through G from figure 1. Okay, so here's A. A it's low, G is high. Okay, and this gives me another definition, tells me again what metamorphic grade is. Figure 2, that's here, shows characteristic minerals that may be present in rocks of a given grade. Okay, so low grade to high grade has these different kinds of minerals in it. All right, questions. According to figure two, um, and that's this one right here, which of the following minerals would most typically be found only in rocks of a medium grade? So when I see the word only, that's I need to zero in on that. Only in rocks of a medium grade. So I'm looking for something in that's only in the middle. Muscovite, nope, that's also in low grade. Biotite, that's also in low grade. Kyanite. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, it's all in the middle, but let's check the other one. Plagioclase. That's that's in everything. So the only one that's only in the medium grade is kyanite. All right, number two. According to figure one, let's get over here to figure one. A facious G rock, facious G is right here, will most likely form under which of the following pressure and temperature conditions? So pressure and temperature. And I could either use these and compare here or I could use this and compare here and I think I'm going to start by co comparing this way the temperature variation is from about 150 degrees Celsius to over a thousand so 800 those are all in that range so that doesn't help me one single bit so let's look at pressure um, we got to go up to here make sure I go to the correct side so the highest it goes is about 10 Oh, but actually that's not the highest. That's that's the lowest because this doesn't start at zero and go up. It starts at zero and goes down here. So the lowest pressure is about 10. So I'm looking for something at 10 or above. 3 is too low, 5 is too low, 8 is too low, 11 is 10 or above. Okay. Number three, figure one, same one again, indicates that as depth increases, so looking at depth, pressure does what? So depth increases by going down so what happens when pressure when we read the scale down it also is increasing the numbers are going up in both cases decreases only no remains the same no increases only yes increases then decreases no it doesn't do that it only increases okay number four according to figure two here's figure two the presence of which of the following minerals in a metamorphic rock would be least helpful in determining that rock's grade? And now I remember over here, this plagioclase was in every single grade. So I know that one, if I, if I saw plagioclase was there, I couldn't, it could be anything. So is plagioclase there? Yes. That's going to be the least helpful. Number five, hornfells is a metamorphic rock formed when magma, molten rock, heats sedimentary rocks on Earth's surface. Okay, that's a clue. We're going to want to look at depth. According to figure one, and that's our, okay, here's that. Here's that picture here. Um, Hornfels is most likely a member of which of the following fascias? Okay, so it's at the surface. Earth's surface, so depth would be zero, and the only one with a depth of zero is fascius A. 
And so we have A as the answer. Alrighty, done with passage one.